The subject of this Irish folklore video was chosen by my patrons on Patreon. You can help vote to decide what kind of content I make by signing up for as little as one dollar a month. Thousands of years ago in Ireland, there were two swineherds. One named Grunt, and the other named Bristle. Uh, these two swineherds worked under the employment of two of the kings of the Shti of Ireland. One under the employment of the king of the Munster Shi, and the other under the employment of the king of the Connacht Shi. Uh, these two swineherds were firm and fast friends. They worked together and cooperated in all things, and between them there was a great love. But not so between their two employers. For between the king of the Connacht Shi and the king of the Munster Shi, there was a bitter and fierce rivalry. But despite this, Whenever there was a great windfall of nuts and acorns in Munster, that swineherd would invite his friend to come down from Connacht and bring his pigs so that they all may grow fat together off the fallen nuts and acorns. And in return, whenever there was a great windfall in Connacht, the Connacht swineherd would invite his friend from Munster to come up and bring his pigs with them so that they may all grow fat off the nuts and acorns. Now these two swineherds were, as all swineherds are, great and powerful wizards of much cunning and might. Because of course, the only way anyone is going to be able to take control of such crafty and strong creatures as pigs is through magic. The two swineherds were equal in all things, in craft, in cunning, in might and magic. But eventually, a wedge was driven between the two. Some of the people of Connacht began to brag that their swineherd was, of course, obviously the mightier of the two, the greater swineherd, the greater wizard. The monster swineherd, he did not like this. He did not like this one bit. Filled and fueled with jealousy and envy, he cast a spell upon the herd of the Connacht swineherd. A spell that would prevent the Connacht swineherd's pigs from ever growing fat or ever growing at all from the food that they ate. And so, no matter how much the Connacht swineherd's pigs ate, they wasted away and they starved. And all through the winter, many of them died. No matter how much they ate, no matter how much they were fed. And so all the people of Ireland said that the monster swineherd was obviously the more mighty of the two. The Connacht swineherd. He knew what had happened to his pigs. He knew what his friend had done. And so he cast the same spell upon the monster swineherd's pigs. And through the winter they wasted away, unable to grow fat or grow at all from their food, no matter how much they ate or how much they were fed. And through the winter many of them died. The two kings of the sheep the king of the Connacht Shi and the king of the Munster Shi. They saw what happened to their herds. And they were gravely displeased. They cast the two swine herds out of their service and exiled them from their provinces. And the two swine herds, they took on the forms of two great falcons. And they fought in the skies of Ireland for two years. And at the end of those two years, they took on the forms of two sea monsters. And they fought each other in the seas of Ireland for two years. Before they took on the forms of two phantoms. 
and they scared and frightened each other through the bogs of Ireland for two years. And then they took on the forms of two warriors who hacked and slashed at each other in the mountains of Ireland for two years before taking on the form of two maggots. And one slipped into a bog and was drank up by a cow belonging to the herdsman Dara in Ulster. The other slipped into a bog and was drank up by a cow belonging to Queen Maeve of Connacht. Now those two cows each gave birth to a young boy calf. The Ulster calf grew and grew and grew until it became the legendary Don Cooling, the brown bull of Cooling. And the Connacht calf grew and grew and grew until it became the legendary Finvanach of the White Horns, the great bull of Connacht. A mighty war was fought over these two bulls, and eventually they were brought together. When they were, they clashed and they fought, remembering their old hatred for one another. And the Don Cooley, the brown bull of Cooley, carried Finvanach's corpse all across Ireland, leaving bits of it scattered through the countryside before dying of its wound. And that was the final end of the friendship of the two swine. Thank you for joining me for the story of the two swineherds, and thanks to all of my patrons, including the great and mighty Ash Carp, first of her name, Keeper of the Magikarp, and Empress of the Shiny Sea. As well as to my other patrons whose names you see scrolling across the screen, and all of the other ones as well who are in lower tiers. And thanks to everyone who clicks like and shares my videos and just watches them in general, and to everyone who's subscribed. I'm going to be doing more videos in this style where I separate the storytelling from the analysis. You can expect the analysis for this story uh, sometime next week, I think. I'm also going to be doing more live storytelling sessions live streamed on twitch.tv slash hog n dice because we're all self-isolating and trying to stay inside as much as possible so i thought i may as well give you all a little bit of entertainment and it gives me an opportunity to practice my storytelling and make sure i don't lose my edge while the leprechaun museum is closed so yeah thank you all for coming i hope you enjoyed it and remember that your applause is the only way to counteract my daily chant of I don't believe in fairies.